So we feature amazing people and amazing businesses doing amazing things all around the DMV. Today we're looking at a new way to find the best donuts that DC has to offer. A new business is doing it and is aptly named the Underground Donut Tour. Here's a preview. Hey, you guys want some donuts? And our first donut today, this is District Donut, and they're actually by the wharf, and I'm gonna walk you through what the flavors are. I have been doing the Underground Donut Tour for a month now. It just came to DC. This is a creme brulee. They literally pulled out a blowtorch <laughs> and cooked it in front of me. It actually started in 2015 in Chicago, and I am just so excited they're finally in DC. Anybody want another donut for the walk? You guys know me, I'm Jim and I'm here with the Underground Donut Tour. We're gonna walk about two blocks to our next donut shop. All right, we made it. Welcome to Astro Donuts and Fried Chicken. All right, so at the bottom left, that's gonna be our classic jelly donut. In the middle is a red velvet cake. Over in the corner, I grabbed this good old-fashioned maple bacon. Here we have the creme brulee, so make sure you have it. This is often considered to be the best donut in DC. Choice for my heart, but I stand behind it. The creme brulee? It's so Right? Astro versus District creme brulee, what was the winner? Astro. Yep, I agree, I agree. Isn't that jelly, like, I felt like it might be like the boring choice, but it just it's a perfectly executed simple donut. All right, my friends, we're about to walk down Palmer Alley, considered to be one of the most photogenic spots in DC. We're gonna pretend we're in Italy and we're gonna see kind of how the Italians enjoy their donuts, which is a sweet, savory treat known as a bombolini. All right, my friends, you guys are about to get worked. What I love about this, no, no tricks, no fancy flavors, just a classic. We're gonna cook something really well and put a delicious cream inside. But because DC is international, I didn't just want American donuts. I wanted to get a taste of how some other cultures, other countries make donuts. This is our Italian style. And it's, I would almost compare it to an eclair over here. It's kind of a baked good with an eclair filling. Our final stop is Farmers and Distillers. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. Oh this is a bananas foster, so there's gonna be a banana inside. Whoa. Strawberry cream filled. This low key might be my favorite donut on the tour. And what we have here is a um, chocolate peanut butter filled toffee donut. Do it, do it. first donut I tried when I was putting the tour together, so I still have an emotional attachment to the chocolate peanut butter toffee. I love at the end of the tour how everyone's just like, yeah, these are all great. Oh, look, this, oh it's so good. Second shop we went to Astro Donuts. Was that anybody's favorite? Uh, yeah, Astro's. Astro really comes out swinging. What's so strange is the, a group consensus will weirdly form because one shop will be the favorite and people really feed on each other's enthusiasm. We have both buttons and keychains. Oh, animal oh, donut oh, keychains. Oh my God, that's so cute. That's cute. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Yay! All right, this actually led me to one of my deeply held, I think unpopular opinions. I've never actually tested to see if it's unpopular or not. I love all sorts of different donuts. Donuts are like bears. Uh, just I'll, I'll take them however I can get them. However, the greatest donut that is possible to exist is regular glaze. I'm sorry, regular glaze is the goat donut. Anything you put on regular glaze makes it worse. It'll be good, but it makes it worse. Anybody opposed? That's right, that's right. Hey, hey, let me find out. I'm building a movement. And if you wanna book your tour, by the way, make sure you head over to undergrounddonuttour.com. I'll be there when they make a stop for regular glazed.